<laughs> well, hey, welcome back to Short Science in uh, my garage. <clears throat> Last week in science, we concluded our investigation into the world of physical and chemical properties and changes. And this week, man, I got to tell you, we are hitting the accelerator. That's right. We're getting into the world of chemical reactions. We started our research today, our basic research, looking at what is a chemical reaction, how does it relate to a chemical change, and what are the two basic parts of any type of chemical reaction. And you guys did a great job, man. We identified that we have these things called reactants and products, and we tried to apply it to the concept of our kitchen chemistry. Yeah, man, those recipes were great, and I gotta tell you, I can't wait for dinner. We identified that ingredients, you know, those products that we start with that get used up, they're the ones that undergo the change and they are called reactants. When the reaction is done and we've produced a new substance that has new properties, we have created the products. Kind of makes sense, right? Well, I was thinking, man, what better way to reinforce these concepts than the world famous yeah, I know I said that last week with Diet Coke and Mentos, but this week I really mean it. Yeah, the world famous elephant toothpaste. That's right, right here in my driveway, we are gonna create toothpaste for elephants. Well, hey, and welcome back to the next segment in our show. Just wrapped up my dinner, man, and were your Padlet ingredients delicious? Talk about some awesome reactants. So here we are. The world famous elephant toothpaste demonstration. That's right, we're gonna make toothpaste for an elephant. So realistically, we only need one reactant in this experiment, and that's the hydrogen peroxide, the H2O2. By itself, do would decompose over the next year, but we naturally are gonna speed that up with something we call a catalyst. That is some sort of a substance that is used to kickstart and speed up a chemical reaction. So for sure, we're gonna take this substance, hydrogen peroxide, we're gonna change it, rearrange it, and we're gonna make something new that has new properties. I've added a little bit of food coloring and a little bit of soup, or soap, excuse me, just to dress it up. All right, so here we go. Go in three, two, and one. Nice. Number two. And numero tres. As you can see with the camera getting closer, we've had some different changes to our elephant toothpaste. On my left, you are right, man, did that one really work. As the camera zooms in, you can start to see some of the steam that's given off during this reaction. We're really gonna expand on that today as we look at the two types of chemical no reactions. dangerous, no longer a skin irritant, the H2O2, because we have changed this into a new substance that has new properties. Well, I hope you enjoyed tonight's session and we will see you next time on Short Science. <laughs> oh man, it's still minutes later, here we are at the aftermath of the elephant toothpaste demonstration. What a huge success, man. I couldn't have asked for a better result. Tons and tons of foamy fun, man. Well, here we had a chemical reaction. We started with H2O2. I mean, we broke it down. Essentially, it decomposed with a little help from the yeasty boys. That's right, yeast, which was the catalyst. And we've now changed it to H2O and oxygen gas. So no longer is this the H2O2 we started with. Now we've got a new substance or two that has totally different properties. Well, I hope you enjoyed and we'll see you back in class as we expand on the world of chemical reactions. Thanks everybody and have a great day.